IBM Summary Runtimes comes in two different flavors, an open source licensed edition and an IBM licensed certified edition called IBM Summary Certified. Both are available to use in production, supported by IBM, and are 100% compatible with each other. The key differences are the license and certification. Several other vendors also have Java distributions that utilize OpenJDK, but where IBM Summary Runtimes differs is in the use of Eclipse OpenJ9 JVM. Why does this make a difference? Well, it provides a number of performance advantages that benefit Java workloads running in containers and on the cloud. Utilizing OpenJDK 11 with OpenJ9, for example, significantly outperforms Hotspot, enabling things like a 51% faster startup time, 50% smaller footprint after startup, faster ramp up time in the cloud, and 33% smaller footprint during load. Because of OpenJ9's heritage, you'll find this technology being used in many of our own products here at IBM. A large number of IBM and also independent software vendors offerings rely on IBM Summary Runtimes technology to provide a solid foundation for companies operating across a wide range of industry sectors. Because IBM products and our customers rely on a broad range of platforms, not just so-called IBM platforms, Summary Runtimes are built and rigorously exercised across numerous architectures and operating systems, from desktops running Windows, Linux, or Mac OS, to servers such as IBM Power Systems, IBM Z system mainframes, and x86 systems. It also provides the same performance benefits for the IBM Liberty Runtime, which is IBM's application server designed for cloud native applications and microservices. So you can get the same version of the technology that IBM uses in its products and that our customers have relied upon for decades. So if you've got a Java application, why not try out IBM Summary Runtimes today and see what performance benefits you could gain?